Have you ever pondered over the art of making new friends as an adult? This introspective query has likely floated through the minds of most of us. It's a universal riddle, a conundrum echoing in the hearts of people all around the globe. The transition from the frivolous days of our youth into the serious domain of adulthood often brings this concern into sharp focus. As we adjust to the demands of adulthood, our social lives can often take a back seat. The youthful chit-chat playgrounds and school hallways slowly transform into office discussions and familial obligations. One could argue that the cycle of life has come full circle. But the question remains, why do our social circles appear to contract rather than expand as we age? The answer is intricate, deeply intertwined with the evolution that accompanies aging. Our priorities evolve, our leisure time dwindles and our obligations increase. The spontaneous outings at the local park or the impromptu road trips are now things of the past. In their place, we find schedules, deadlines and the needs of others form our lives. However, the picture is not all bleak. In fact, it's quite the contrary. The beauty of life lies in its uncanny knack for catching us off guard, for presenting opportunities at the most unlikely moments. All we need to do is stay receptive, ready to grab these opportunities as they come. At this point, you might wonder, how exactly does one manage the labyrinth of adult friendships? The answer is simpler than it first seems. It's not about reinventing the wheel, but about adapting to the changing, and that's where we step in. In this episode, we will dive headlong into the subject matter, drawing from various scientific studies that have shed light on the nuances of adult friendships, the challenges and the rewards. Experts such as Dr. Rebecca G. Adams, a sociologist at the University of North Carolina, has noted that friendship takes a back seat in adulthood due to the pressures of work and family. On the other hand, Dr. William Chopik from Michigan State University has found that friendships become even more critical for health and happiness as we age. We aim to provide practical, actionable strategies built upon years of research and personal experiences to guide you through this often complicated yet rewarding aspect of life. We will walk you through the process, equip you with the necessary tools and provide insights that will empower you to not only preserve your existing friendships but also to forge new ones, to expand your social circle and to enhance your life in the process. Ever wondered how to make new friends as an adult? Don't worry, because today we're going to equip you with practical, straightforward strategies backed by scientific research and expert insights to help you broaden your social horizon. First up, join clubs or groups that align with your personal interests. This is not just a suggestion, but a recipe for building meaningful relationships. It's like a roadmap leading you to a treasure chest brimming with like-minded souls. It's not just clubs or groups, it's about community, about belonging, about finding a place where you can be yourself, unapologetically. Consider the vast array of clubs and groups that exist in the world. Literary clubs for those enchanted by the written word, fitness clubs for those who find their peace rhythm of their heartbeat, cooking clubs where the language of love is spoken in recipes. No matter what your passion might be, there's surely a club or a group filled to the brim with people who share your enthusiasm. In these clubs or groups, you are not just a face in the crowd. You are a key player, a contributing member who is valued for their unique perspective. It's a platform where you can express your ideas, share your thoughts and receive feedback that aids your personal growth. Joining a club or a group gives you the opportunity to step out of your comfort zone. It allows you to explore new avenues and broaden your horizon. It's a space where you can learn, grow and evolve while being surrounded by people who are on the same journey as you. It's an opportunity to learn from others, to gain new insights and to challenge your own beliefs. Imagine walking into a room where everyone shares your love for books or your passion for fitness or your obsession with cooking. It's like coming home, isn't it? It's a family that understands your language, your joy and even your frustration. It's not just about sharing a hobby, it's about sharing a piece of your life. So go beyond the surface. Let's dive deeper into the ocean of clubs and groups. Let's explore the depths of our interests and passions. Let's connect with those who speak the same language as we do. Let's find our tribe. Remember, it's not just about joining a club or a group. It's about finding a community, a family, a tribe. It's about finding a place where you can be yourself, 
unapologetically. In conclusion, whether you're a book lover, a fitness enthusiast, or a passionate cook, there's likely a club or group out there filled with people who share your passion. It's a fantastic way to meet new people who already have something in common with you. Next, consider attending networking events. Networking events, which are specifically organized to foster connection, communication and collaboration, are an effective tool for expanding your professional contacts. These events are designed to facilitate introductions and conversations, making them a perfect platform to meet like-minded individuals, exchange ideas and form valuable relationships. Each event will expose you to a unique crowd of professionals, entrepreneurs and potential mentors. Whether it's a formal conference, a relaxed meet and greet, or even a virtual seminar, the opportunities to connect are endless. Networking events provide an environment where professionals can engage in meaningful conversations, share experiences, and inspire one another. Remember, everyone who attends these events is there with a shared goal, to meet new people. This commonality forms the foundation of these events, creating an atmosphere of openness and congeniality. You'll find that people are more open to introductions and conversations as everyone shares the same objective. This removes any element of awkwardness or uncertainty, making it easier for you to approach others. Given this shared objective, it's important not to be shy. Embrace the opportunity with positivity and enthusiasm. Remember that each conversation you start could lead to a new professional relationship, a job opportunity or even a friendship. Your confidence and openness can pave the way to numerous opportunities. Remember to approach others with genuine interest, ask insightful questions, and show your willingness to learn and grow. These methods will help you make the most out of networking events and may even help you stand out from the crowd. Show enthusiasm and interest in others' work, share your own experiences, and you might just find that you leave with more than just new contacts. So, don't be shy, strike up a conversation and see where it leads. The possibilities are vast and the potential benefits of networking are tremendous. By taking a proactive approach to networking, you can open doors to new opportunities, expand your professional network and pave the way for a successful career. Volunteering is another excellent avenue to explore. It is an incredible pathway that leads to a world of opportunities. It's not just about contributing your time and efforts, but it's also about sharing your passion and values. It provides a platform to extend your horizons, meet new people, learn new skills and make a significant difference in your community. Volunteering is a powerful catalyst for change. It transforms the way the world around you, it allows you to feel the heartbeat of your community and it nurtures a sense of belonging. By volunteering, you become a part of something bigger than yourself. You become an active participant in shaping the future of your community and in the process, you shape your own future as well. Imagine a situation where you have to work alongside people from diverse backgrounds, races and cultures. Volunteering offers you this unique opportunity. It opens your eyes to different perspectives and broadens your understanding of the world. It breaks down barriers and cultivates a sense of unity and mutual respect. On a more personal level, volunteering is an excellent way to develop your interpersonal skills. It enhances your ability to communicate effectively with others. It challenges you to step out of your comfort zone and adapt to different situations. It boosts your confidence and self-esteem. It also helps you to gain a better understanding of yourself, your strengths, your weaknesses and your passions. Moreover, volunteering is a rewarding experience. It gives you a sense of purpose and fulfillment. When you volunteer, you are not only giving your time, but you are also sharing your compassion, kindness, love. You are making the world a better place, one act of kindness at a time. But above all, volunteering allows you to connect with others who care about the same causes. It bridges the gap between you and like-minded individuals. It gives you a sense of belonging and camaraderie. It sparks meaningful conversations and fosters long-lasting relationships. It's not just about doing good, it's about being good and spreading goodness. It is an experience that teaches you the value of selflessness, the joy of giving and the satisfaction of making a difference. It's a journey that leaves you richer in spirit and humbler in heart. It's a wonderful way to forge meaningful relationships while making a positive impact. Finally, don't underestimate the power of social media. 
Platforms such as Facebook, Instagram or LinkedIn can be instrumental in helping you connect with like-minded individuals. Join groups, participate in discussions and don't hesitate to reach out to someone who catches your interest. Now, as you embark on this journey of expanding your social circle, remember three crucial points. Be open, be genuine and be patient. Friendships aren't built in a day, they require time, effort and a whole lot of understanding. So to summarize, join clubs or groups, attend networking events, volunteer, leverage social media and most importantly, be open, genuine and patient. Remember, the world is full of potential friends waiting to meet you. So step out of your comfort zone and start building those bridges. Who knows, your next best friend could be just a conversation away. Thank you for tuning in and here's to making new friends and building lasting relationships.